Hi, I'm Drew, a drag queen living in LA with my husband Curtis, my dog JB, and a little bit of election anxiety. Oh, brother. And I'm Grant, former pastor living in Florida with my wife, four kids, and a little bit of election confidence. You're gonna Let's... look so stupid on Wednesday. Well, actually, we do talk about it. Happy Election Day, everybody, if you're listening the day this comes out. We do talk about adult themes often on this show, um, but we really deep dive into some biblical adult themes, donkey genitalia, and other things like that. So trigger warning, if you don't like that stuff, which like, you shouldn't, go ahead and skip this one and we'll see you when Trump's president. Well, can you play it anyway? Cause we still need you, the views. Play it, just but mute turn the volume all the way down. And just yeah, play yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. that'd be great. And, and just, just imagine we're, yeah, we're just, we're just saying, we love you, whatever your name is. We love you, Mary. Yeah. Hey, Mark, I can only think of M names. Hey, girly. Hey, girly. Anyway, Mortimer, enjoy the show. Hi, welcome to Twin Window. I'm Drew, and I'm gay. And I'm Grant, and I'm not. But you know Ew. what I am, Drew? Excited what? to be here with my brother. I thought I was the gay one. And I, <laughs> and I thought I was the gay one. It's a very important day. Today is Why? election day. No, it's not. It's election day. Yes, it is. It's election Tomorrow. day. Tomorrow. Nope. Nope. What's today? We released these on Tuesday. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Showbiz. Showbiz, sorry, baby. Sorry, 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 showbiz, sorry, baby. Sorry. Let's take it from the top. Not today is election day. You see, you see what it says? You see what my breast says? Um, it's Madam Melania President. President. Oh, 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 oh. Cool, Madam, cool, cool. Madam cool, President. Cool, cool. It is for Melania, though. I, what I'm hoping is that if people vote for Trump, somehow, I don't know. People will write her in. That's who I want. What do you That's mean somehow? To... Like, the... once he becomes president, he's like our new royal family. So technically, she would be a president. You're always thinking. Well, I'm um, gay. No. We're always changing the rules. I'm glad that we get to release this today because I'm sure there are people listening who are a little stressed. Today's a little stress stressful. Yeah. Well, voting is stressful because there's a bunch of things on the ballot that you've never heard about and you'll never hear about again. But Every vote counts. So yesterday I was working. I'm a very busy working person. You are. You're a worker bee. I asked Curtis. Now listen, my vote counts for sure. Remind me, Curtis, he, one more time. He does the research for my voice so that I don't have to. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? He spent hours on, like, I just kept walking past the bedroom. He's sitting in bed and he's just going, these are so complicated. I was yeah, like, he, he's... Well, I'm glad you're. He struggles to read. He struggles to read. Well, and I appreciate him pushing runs through. In the, in the actor, yeah, I don't know what he finally decided on as far as president goes, but we've got <laughs> we've got all of the city council seats. We Good. know who we're voting for. Thank there for God. sure. Um, did you go in I, person or did you no, drop off? No, I I've always do mail in. Something interesting happened to me this this year. Well, I don't know. It's not interesting. Something oh, happened good, to me this you. year. I got contacted that said I had to fill out an extra form to validate my vote because my signature on the ballot didn't match my driver's license signature. What? Yeah, it, so it said it didn't match it and I had like five days to fill out this, this form and take a picture of my driver's license and, and either drop it off at the county clerk or the, the wherever the board of, of elections is or email it back to them. Isn't that interesting? I, I just thought, well, I mailed it. It's done. It's over. But so apparently it's very, not. Yeah, it's very Florida. But I, Angela went I in person. Being, oh, she did? She had to. Her driver's license address wasn't didn't match our current address. Oh, my so. God. You remember? And that's why women, why are they voting? It's a really great question. I remember being a kid and when we got our license and we signed, you I You signed with heart and I always appreciated that about you. Grant, these are the kinds of stereotypes that I want you to let go, okay? It happened. Those weren't hearts, those were boobs with points. Thank you. Yeah. While I was drawing titties all over my signature, I remember showing mom because I was deep. Now this is gay. I was deeply obsessed with our mother's handwriting. Still am. I love her handwriting. She mm -hmm. has the most bubbly without looking childlike. And the way she made her D, it looked like she started to make an I and didn't dot it. And then she did a lowercase L and that was her D. It is an abomination. 
my mm-hmm. cursive but teacher, my cursive writing teacher would not allow me to do it. She was like, that is not a D. From, when was that, fourth grade? When did we learn cursive? I, yeah, sure. Go for it. You know, kids aren't learning cursive anymore, and I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, think I have kids. We can, they don't we know how to let, sign their names. That's crazy. We can they have let to sign, everything they else They have to sign go. these forms for school and i brought let it to math them. go let yeah. history go they don't know but how to we have names. to teach get cursive back in schools get the ten commandments on the wall and get cursive right. back i'm just in i'm just saying when cursive was in school so was prayer so thank you so, well prayer is a cursive way of speaking dear heavenly father you know that can i tell you what my signature was when we were teenagers i, I bet wait, I, wait, wait 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 let me guess was it grant nixon no, you idiot. What I what I mean is my the way I flourished with I don't know. What do you call that? The flourish you put Signed? on? Signed? That's not right. Oh, it's your personal font. My razzle dazzle that I put on it. Go. It was very Christian. Do you want to see it? Mm. I remember it cuz no. I used to practice it. Yep, I'm going to show oh, it. Oh, the T and Grant was a cross. Hold on. No, it was a last name. So the N, the N I did big. I can't and then see I'll, that. It's off. I, I'm going to put, ser- put it close. I'm going to put it close. Hold oh, on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna, so the N was real big, and I would sign my name in it. Oh, man. Here it is. <laughs> to our audio right. listeners, it's okay. great. Yeah, I'll edit it. All right, so here we go. So <clears throat> do you see it? Yeah. Wait, what is at the bottom? So the X would extend down, and I would make three crosses. The big cross in the middle, and the two crosses on either side. I guess I don't Shout have room to, to talk. Shout to the Lord. I used all to the earth. turn my middle initial into a guillotine. So you know, to each. You his really own. did. I liked. I liked my form of, of execution. You you like your own. So on our yours ballot is here way in- more cruel. I want you to know. Yours is. <laughs> I would hate. I want it on record. I would hate to be crucified. Hot Cut my head take, off, brother. Any Hot day. take. Don't crucify me. Uh, on the ballot here in Florida, we are voting whether or not to legalize recreational marijuana. So we've had medical for a while, but now they're, they're talking about that. So I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and I was asking him, I was like, so you voted. There's two big amendments. One is recreational marijuana, and the the other is to protect abortion rights. So I was like, so you voted yes on four to protect abortion rights. He's like, yeah. And then I was like, and you voted yes on three, which is to legalize recreational marijuana. And he goes, no. And I went, why? And he said, cause like you can, it's just going to be all in public and it's going to smell terrible and whatever. And I was like, who told you that? So mm-hmm. the other night I turned on a football game and mm. so there's all these political ads running. Just every every commercial break, it's four minutes of political ads. And I saw the anti-marijuana ad, and it was awesome. So here it was. It was somebody going, they're sitting on a park bench, and someone walks up to him, and he goes, you know, it's not really that big a deal. Whatever people want to do in their homes. And then this lady said, but it's not going to stay in their homes. And he goes, what? She goes, that's right. It's going to legalize it everywhere. And he said, so they're going to be able to smoke and restaurants which no they aren't no they aren't you can't smoke in a restaurant and they go are they going to be able to smoke it in theme parks and she goes "Uh uh-huh which no they're not no they're not you can't smoke in a theme park (laughs) and it was just like it just kept going i wanted it to keep going i wanted it to be like will they be able to smoke it in delivery rooms yes like just keep it going marijuana is great for pain relief so i think smoking it in a delivery maybe is valid her Uh, body her choice are you voting for that (laughs) i did yes on four i'm really hoping it passes i don't want to keep registering for medical marijuana and telling him that i don't like big crowds i love oh, going to weed stores we have only my favorite you. weed stores called the weed and i took you to it everyone there is so high all the time that i instantly feel high when i walk in i get a contact high because when they talk to you like that your brain it has to revert back to that state and i yeah, say yeah, revert yeah. because you're not smarter when you're high okay so i revert okay. back i get very high and then i walk okay 
Okay. Okay. And <laughs> I can't do it. I love, you do it. I love that one, but I also there's a black owned one that uh, it's like right down the street, and it's Curtis's favorite. And I love that one because the weed is just a bunch of fucking high twenty something white kids, right? Yeah. But then Bud and Roses, which is a black owned business, they have a waiting area, and they're like only one person allowed in. Like, go get your shit. They're nice. They're friendly once you're in there. Sure. But they have rules that you follow. And they're like, don't fuck yeah. around. This is a weed store. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Curtis prefers that environment. So we split our time. That feels very Curtis. I think Curtis is a, he's a pain in, in the lines guy, right? Like he needs the structure. I Does think that help him? He, Curtis and I share this. I think we both are creative in very specific ways. But I think we both thrive under structure. And I think we both mm. want to believe that we're way more creative and go with the flow than we actually are. Plus they, sell his, they only sell his kind of thing that he likes at that one. That might also be the reason. That, that could also seems, be the reason. That could be a big motivation. But also black owned. Listen, I know we don't have to get into it. Legalize marijuana, get people out of prison for that bullshit. And black people specifically have been adversely affected by all of this fucked up legislation legislation and now that it's legal all these white people are moving in and they're making oodles and boodles so if you do have a black owned weed store near you obviously go there first but if you want to get a contact high from a bunch of 20 year old white kids you can also go down the street just for like extras um Thanks for the update there. So You're welcome. speaking of elections, we're still on elections. I oh, okay. was I spoke to our father earlier today. Who art in heaven? And who is art he in heaven? heaven? He no, is? No, he's not. No, no, no. No, calm down. He was having this an is iron, stressing me out. Iron infusion. He was getting <laughs> iron in his blood. I take an iron supplement. Maybe yeah, my dad goes, and I are more alike than I thought. He gets it injected into his veins. So I was talking to him about how he's feeling and his health and everything. And how is he feeling? He, tired and old he's like i mean you saw joe biden on the video call the other day that's dad is that dad yeah pretty much now listen, he's getting I, this iron infusion he sucks okay and i but i'm not happy that he's suffering i'm really not this is a bit i'm smiling because it's a bit i really I don't, don't want him to suffer i really don't yeah i don't i, I wouldn't call it where he is suffering he's doing a lot better than he was oh, he's getting this iron infusion so i i don't know what you want me to day. say I don't know what you want me to say. I want you to say, I want you to say that he realized all of his mistakes and okay. it was the iron. It was because his iron was low. But right. now that he has right. good iron, he's shopping at black owned weed stores and yep. loving his drag queen son. Let me tell you the truth. The oh, iron shit, that's where it's going. <laughs> oh, gives him, Jesus. it immediately gives him this energy boost. And so he yeah. he got the iron infusion. It gave him and enough then, energy to, to go to a hurl black owned business. Racial slurs at all the nurses. He punched the gay one. Then he went home. Okay, this is really dark. And if you want to cut this out, you can absolutely. Go ahead. I remember being a kid, and our great grandmother, Grandma Lucy, was in a nursing home, and mm -hmm. most of the staff were black. Oh yeah, I know exactly and what you're gonna say. As her mind went, and even before, to be honest, she would refer to them as the n-word and do you remember all of the mystery bruises that everyone kept saying they didn't know where it came from yeah listen i'm not victim blaming but bitch what do you think would happen <laughs> idiot well, do <laughs> okay, you remember? Sorry, sorry we were there one time, time. and of course, Grandma Lucy didn't know what she was what she was saying at that point. It was just that's so true. deep in her heart. That's what came out. <laughs> it so. was deep in her heart. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, what came that's out. That's dark. Um, that's dark. So I was talking to dad today and he asked me if I had voted. I said, yeah, I, I already mailed it in. And so dad said, did you know that there's an injunction in Arizona right now over ballots? And I said, why? And he said, over 200,000 illegal immigrants have registered to vote. And I said, I don't think so. that sounds crazy. That can't be true. So I look it up. Sure enough, Drew, it's not true. I know you were like, oh, no, we need to protect Arizona. It's literally this law they passed in 2004 about establishing your citizenship, like proof of citizenship to vote in the state of Arizona. And all these people who who established that prior to 1996, so people who've lived there a long, long time, it basically expired their their proof of citizenship. So they were invalid voters. So it appeared because of their mistake, because of the state of Arizona's mistake, that they weren't registered voters. And so the Supreme Court in Arizona was like, 
yeah, you guys can vote. Sorry about all that. We fucked that up. And so dad went, oh, oh, okay. And he goes, well, regardless, it'll all be over. And I said, well, dad, not necessarily because if Trump wins, it will be over. We'll move on along with our lives. But if he loses, he'll drag that shit out till January 6th. He's not going to concede. He, he's never conceded. He didn't concede the last one. So he's just not going to because he's a baby. And he's just going to draw it out. He's going to call all these problems. And dad went, uh, okay, got to go. All right. Thanks, son. Bye. <laughs> just hung up the phone. Which, I, which honestly, growth. Normally, he would call me a Democrat. He didn't. He just hung up, which felt pretty good. Honestly, when I hear that, I've been attempting to show more empathy because of TikTok. Okay. I've just been seeing, I've been seeing these people who did vote for Trump in the last election and what they did to deprogram as hard as it is because they are showing such hatred through their actions to you. It's important not to show it back because they truly are in a cult. And can you imagine living 80 plus years and your life ends with you idolizing this fool? Truly the biggest part- I know you're not talking last... about my president right now. Few, <laughs> of the last like eight years of our father's life has yeah. been solely dedicated to Donald Trump. He has lost relationships with his kids. He has lost all respect with anyone who's ever met him. His life ended on this note. That is so sad. But have you seen the Trump watches? I mean, no, I haven't, but I've been wanting to ask you about this because we brought this up on IMHO. Alexis did actually. Have you seen the Bible verse watches? Oh, that's yes. That's not a watch. They, yeah, so like if you have if you're trying to jerk it all the time, you can wear a band that will read you a Bible verse that will help you not jerk it. And it's not a watch. It's just a speaker. It's a little speaker and you press it and it will play a verse at random. I'm obsessed. I want one. I want one in every color. No, I'm just kidding. I just want it in white. I would love that. I would love that. Can you imagine being out at a bar or something yes. with friends and you're yes. like, hey guys, um, real quick. What you think about that? I, I or or I getting it. picking up coffee from your barista and then they're like, have a good day. And you're like, hey, you have this. Lot's wife became salt. Rejoice um, in the Lord always. That was invented because Christian dudes want to touch their penises because they're normal people. And the church is like, don't. And the support groups don't work. You Weren't you in a porn through... support group? Yes. So uh, we call them accountability groups. And literally you would get together every week and be like, what did you do this week? And I'd be like, looked at porn again, or I jerked it six times before I got here in an hour. Oh my God. But like we... We would, that's not true. I, I never, oh. it was never that low. We would talk about those things. And so that's what it, ex that's, that's where that thing came from. Which by the way, when I was super Christian and was like, why do I want to look at boobs all the time? I would do that. I would put Bible verses on my computer, like tape them to the top of my computer. Did you draw little I titties would, in the O's? Little nipples? I did. I, I couldn't mm. help it. I would write it on my arm and like on my hand. And then I'd end up rubbing it off on my penis. Truly, I would do the same thing. Like I would put them as, as if when you're in that moment and you're like, I just want to jerk it right now that you would see a scripture and you'd be like, you know what? The scripture's better. It's better than having okay. an orgasm. I will say as a 40 year old, I could mm -hmm. see that. But as a 20 something, or even early 30s, I was really hard at 31. I can't imagine that working. And also- It's guilt. As... It's it's not it's not really that you look at it and go, oh, I don't wanna do this anymore. It's guilt. You're putting more guilt on yourself. That That's the whole game. Well, yeah, that's how you know you're a Christian. I would have loved being in one of those support groups. I have to say, that would have been the hottest thing in the world. Just hearing a bunch Can... of straight guys so, talk about okay. they can't stop coming. Okay, let me get let me get even like, more into this. Same. Forget brother. forget everything else we want to talk about today. Let's get into porn recovery in the Christian universe. So we had guidelines on what we could say and couldn't say because you didn't want to put ideas in people's heads. I can 100% tell you that because of people's stories, it led me to Google things I had never heard of before. I was like, you looked at you looked at what this week? Oh, that sounds interesting. That is that's tough. Yeah. That's tough. I'm going to go pray for you right now. I'll be gone. I need a good 15 to 20. 
and I'll be back yeah. from my prayers, and I'll be sweatier than I am now. You're not supposed to say you're a former addict because you're always an addict, and I understand mm -hmm. that. I feel so far removed from my addiction now. It's been so long. I have a hard time saying I'm a recovering addict, but I guess you always are. I'll unpack that in therapy. So I went for years, I went to Sex Addicts Anonymous. Well, actually I went to Sexual Compulsives Anonymous because Sex Addicts Anonymous is Christian. Interesting. The, yeah, you don't, well, no, no. SAA isn't, it's SA. Alcoholics Anonymous, Sexaholics Anonymous. SA is very Christian and you have to believe in man and woman in order to participate. I went to You don't believe that men and women exist? Is that what you're saying? L-A-A. Yes, yes, I think I don't think they exist. I've never seen one. I think trans people are lying to us, okay? I think trans people have been hired by the man and female groups Mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. show I'm with you that, this. well, yeah, no, it, it already exists in nature and now you're creating mm -hmm. it, but that already yeah. exists. We swear, no, it doesn't. Exactly. No, it doesn't. There were plenty of people in these support groups over the years that they were there solely because of a porn addiction. So I'm not saying that like you can't be addicted to porn. You absolutely can be addicted to porn. It's just funny to me to hear the, the Christian perspective of it because when I'm in 12th step, they're sharing their story, we're sharing our stories, and we're all just trying to support one another because we want to be better. Not because we feel, well, I'm sure we felt guilty, but because we've identified this issue within us and we wanna to work to fix it so that we can be better people and we can be more loving people to the people in our lives. Whereas your group was like, oh my God, I'm a human. I can't stop jerk, I, I jerk my wiener. like." once a day like yeah we all do we're alive yeah we all Don't jerk we? your do wiener do once it? a day mark we all do it like once a day right i'm 40 i can't i can't anymore i've got I and you've got kids i, just, I can't I'm so tired. my brother I'm has so kids tired. i'm so tired my brother's Ugh, he's got so many I'm kids so i'm tired i'm yeah so out of tired. Out, yeah please out of honor and respect for my kids don't jerk more than once a day see and at 40 just hearing that would work so <laughs> the other thing is too where i agree with you there can be porn addiction but that's not what we we're talking about what we're talking about is like not even once a day we're talking about like i i, I jerked off once this week and they'd be like come on brother you don't have to do that just normal well, is, there is that verse you can't you can't pour your seed on the ground were you pouring your seed on the ground do you know what that verse Money is? Porn, Do you know the porn. context of that? Yeah, there was like a shortage. There was a people shortage. <laughs> there was a people shortage and they didn't have enough cum. And okay, so, go ahead. wait, yeah. this is true. I can't believe I'm having to tell you this when you have Bible on your resume, but okay. True, go So ahead. there was a people shortage in this village. Okay. okay. Not only was there a people shortage, but the they had a bad crop that year. And so men were not producing the sperm that they needed to fix the people shortage. Because of, of the crops. crops? They didn't have enough iron in their systems. And you know, you need iron to vote for Trump and to come. Oh, dad must be having a, he's got a rager right now. He's oh, an absolute he rager. can't stop coming. Yeah, Probably he driving would be home with super it. popular Steering. in one of those support groups. Then the, the church leaders, if you will, um, they said, hey, we have to stop coming on the ground. Every drop of cum we have to yep, put totally into our it. daughters. Now we have people. Can I offer a different perspective? So you can, there, but there I is an idea. Would. And if, if you grew up in church, you may have heard that there's a verse in the Bible that says, don't spill your seed on the ground, that it's an abomination to the Lord. That's made up. That's not in the scriptures, but it is inspired by a real story. And it's nothing like the one Drew just told. Instead, nothing like there it. was... Is there cum mm. involved? I stand corrected. So, so it's sort of like it. There was a story of this woman whose husband dies and her brother was called a kinsman redeemer. So basically what it meant is, Drew, if you're the kinsman redeemer for my family, if Angela and I got married, we didn't have any kids, and then I died, it would I be your... Yep, it'd be your role to step yeah. in, get her pregnant, and it would be my child, even though I'm dead. It wouldn't be your I child. Wanna be, I wanna be honest with you, I have thought mm -hmm. about that, mm -hmm. and I am willing to spill my seed in Angela. I just I'll want talk to her Angela to know. About it. Yeah, cards I'll talk to her about are it. on the table. Sure, I'll shoot her a text. She That's had four so... kids though. Does her uterus work? 
Honestly, no. It's real, it's real yeah. fucked up. This kinsman redeemer started having sex with his sister-in-law, mm -hmm. but every time he was about to come, he'd pull out and he'd just come on the ground. So he was just using her. He just wanted to have sex with his sister-in-law, but he didn't want to get her pregnant. He didn't want it to stop. He's like, Same, well, if I get you pregnant, brother. it's over. So Same, he just kept brother. doing that and it upset God so much that God killed him. <gasps> God killed him for being a little stinker? Oh my for being a God. Stinker. <laughs> he was using his sister in law <laughs> for sex. He's being a little stinker. Okay, but uh, that's. The, but he you was, know what? That he was using right there, a fucked up rule. He was using that, a fucked up rule to that fuck comment up right things. there. It, it helps me understand why you still listen to Bill Cosby records. I didn't know why you still had that collection, listen, but now I'm starting to understand. He was what a stinker. stinker. What a stinker. I. No, I don't. He's I still do alive. not stand with. Is I he do still not alive? Bill Cosby. I hope not. Is he? If he, he is, I hope he's in jail. Yeah. He's in prison. I, right? I, didn't he apply for um, release, like uh, compassionate release or something? Like, doesn't he have cancer? Or Why something? would we be passionate? Okay, he is alive. He's eighty-seven because bad people never die. They never die. What is Bill Cosby doing now? Wait a second. What do you think Jimmy Carter's done in his life? He tried to plan a tour in twenty twenty-three. So he's out. I guess. Or Everybody cover article. your drinks. Everyone Wait, cover your drinks. I'm checking. I think he's sexual assault cases. Hang on. It's a weird thing. God, he had a lot. Microphone. He had a ton. Yeah, he's a fucking monster. Yeah, he got out. He was of released. Of course. Well, we can burn his house down. <sighs> hey, if you'd like to burn the house, join our Patreon. We're making yeah. plans. We're going to head on over. We're going to um, set a bunch of sweaters on fire. Uh, legally, it's just a joke. This is just a joke. We're not going to burn anybody's house down. I need this. Please don't take but this But I away wouldn't from. help if it was on fire. I'll put it that way. Last week, we talked a little bit about misconceptions with the drag culture and drag queens. And I, I was thinking that. about from this side, like maybe misconceptions people have about Christians or pastors or whatever. But you know, the sure. porn things are really good segue into that because Great. one of the things that's happening is like there is a massive inner critic inside of Christians. Like that's just part of being, a, you build that up. And I know everyone's got an inner critic. Mine is the critic from from um, it's sean lovitz yeah yeah he's in my head at all times <laughs> that was one of the best shows in the world and i'm I so loved it. i loved, I it. loved it watching it late yeah. at night on comedy mm -hmm. central oh i felt so grown up i didn't get half the jokes oh that's like Damn. when i tried to watch was it dr cats mm -hmm. i never i didn't understand a single joke i couldn't make it through the whole episode but i was like i'm watching no. this same i am same. sophisticated have you tried to watch it as an adult it is no less entertaining than you thought it would be oh you get the really? jokes now but you're like why did it take so long and why are you wiggling yeah they wiggle all over there's a lot they of wiggling. wiggle a ton they wiggle so much one of the things about christians again is there's this inner critic they're feeding it constantly and we give it a name we call it the holy spirit and so there's this idea that if i don't feel convicted all the time if i don't feel bad about something all the time uh-oh what's going on like like, where's the Holy Spirit? Because the Bible says the Holy Spirit's job is to convict of sin. By the way, one of the things you can say against Christians when they're being judgmental against you is say, uh, according to the scriptures, the Holy Spirit's the only one on earth that's supposed to be convicting of sin. So shut the fuck up. Yeah. So you have that. this. Put that in your Bible watch. Put that in your Bible watch. The Holy Spirit is the only one that's. Should we make our own version of it? A 20 window Bible watch? But I it's would love just it. the weirdest verses we can find. Like Deuteronomy 25. Is oh, my that favorite. one's crazy. That one's you know crazy. what I'm talking about? You yeah. About? Oh my god, I love it. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah it's dude. um if your mm -hmm. if your wife dies Close. on a donkey. There's a wife. If two men are fighting and the wife of one man comes out to save her husband and grabs the other man by his genitals, you're to cut her hand off and show her no pity. Then what do you do with the hand? Show it no pity. So what do you do with it? Just show you it. Scold no pity. it? Just Set it you down. Fucking you fucking hand. It, no pity. What were you Silly. doing? You little stinker. Any hand that grabs for my genitals is already a self-hating hand. <laughs> the verse you, that was always my go-to silly verse. Yours was, you always talked about the the genitals, the giant, the, the donkey, donkey dong verse. Yes. I love that one. But you did, for Wait, real. Wait, are you, you being serious? To, yes. There was a time oh. where I would say that stupid verse all the time. It's, I think it's in Jeremiah. I don't know. But it was like women lusting after men because their genitalia is the size of donkeys or horses. 
something like that. Okay, I can tell you that's not true. The Bible's rocking. It, if it's too big, it's not fun for anyone. I'm sorry. If you if you're if so you're what a you're man saying is Angela's dick, not having any fun. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now listen, I know we're not identical twins, Grant, but there's no way we can have that much of a difference. <laughs> We are a solid, hard average, and I am proud of it. <laughs> oh, man. That's right. We are average Americans. Man, this podcast got away from me. Oh, Ezekiel yeah. 2320. Go ahead. And lusted after their lovers whose genitals were like those of donkeys and whose emission was like that of stallions. Jesus Christ. He just called her a cum slut. Yeah, dude. What a cum dump. Bible. But you know what's wow. great is that you read those verses and we're like, this is stupid. I'm out. I read those verses and I was like, well, I'll give my life to this thing. That's it. I'm, I'm going to go further up. in. I'm, you know I what? They think, make a good hmm, point. Hmm. Why did she grab for his genitals? Hmm. More what was points. he wearing? My point is, we are trained as Christians to to feed that inner critic and to oh. call it the Holy Spirit. And so, if you're not feeling convicted in this sinful and adulterous world, what's wrong with you? It keeps you from enjoying normal, natural things, and you just heap shame on yourself. And I still have it. Like I still have those, like those knee-jerk reactions that I have to, like, I kind of recoil from. I'll, I'll give you an example. Angela and I went to a bar the other night with some friends of ours, and this couple sits down across from us, and the woman that sits down is super attractive and she sits down and I immediately look at her and I like I like look away and what would happen in my old Christian brain is is that lust did you just look at her how did you look at her and you start to analyze every thought because the Bible tells you to take captive every single thought you know how exhausting that is that's called OCD dude but that's what we're training ourselves to do and so literally in that moment my knee-jerk reaction of the last 30 seven years of my life was to feel guilty, to feel like I had done something wrong. Because the Bible said, Jesus said, if you look at a woman with lust in your heart, you've committed adultery. Okay, but to be fair, we all look at beautiful people. I look at beautiful women all the time, but I'm not lusting. I was at Longwood Gardens, and yes, that is a real name. It is not made up, and it is a boner. I was at Longwood Gardens outside of Philadelphia. There was this woman. She had the most luscious, beautiful you know these women um you know like the fall the girl that became a meme because she was so into fall and she has like the long ringlets of brown hair and she's wearing an oversized sweater she has a big hat on with a big brim okay and she's drinking starbucks like in the orangey trees right basically it was that kind of woman like mm -hmm. cur like long beautiful took her time curling her hair and it was naturally gray and it was the most beautiful hair i've I ever do like gray hair seen. do like i do like and that we kept seeing her because like Longwood Gardens, you just kind of, you're wandering everywhere. So you see the same people all day. Yeah, It's like and practicing for dementia. What? Walking through those gardens. It's like, you just kind of oh, meander and you no, don't no, know no, no. everybody. I don't want you you to... think you may have known somebody. Grant, please rest your mind and know that you don't have to train for dementia. You're going to be really good at it naturally. Oh, thanks, man. You're welcome. I wanted to compliment her on her hair, but there's, there's two problems with that. Number one, I knew I'd keep running into her and so then i'd every time i'd see her i'd have to nod like i already talked to you i like your no, hair you but number two i'm very enthusiastic about other people and when i do get excited enough to like comment on it in public i do it with my entire chest i get so you're too because you, you're just too like you should have let it out earlier and so every yes. time you see her you're like ah. by the time you yes. see her you're vibrating you're just like ah. Your hair is great. I like it. Okay, I'll tell you this. We were in the inside, if you will, mm -hmm. at the like mm -hmm. inside gardens where the inside plants go. We were standing inside, like trying to figure out where we wanted to go next. And I saw her with her family right outside the door, like outside. Mm -hmm. And I went, "I'm gonna go stand outside," just because I I thought maybe this is the moment that I say something. Anyway, but mm -hmm. I knew that if I were to have said something to her in that moment, I would have done this. Oh my God, I love your hair. I'm so proud of you. I know I would have said that <laughs> and it would have been so weird. And it's something that Curtis has commented on before. I say it all the time because I mean it. I love saying I'm proud of you because I am. Interesting. Interesting. But that comes off You've as very condescending. You've literally never said that to me. Well, I've never Not felt once. that for you. 
But huh. I like to say that because I think it, to me, it feels so deeply like a part of me. And I'm like, I'm so proud of you. Like I care yeah. enough about what you are doing that I, I'm proud of you. But you imagine Curtis has said, to me. that's very condescending. And so instead I'm supposed to say, I'm so happy for you. But that feels so empty. Uh, you know? I agree. I agree with Curtis and oh, I agree okay. with you. I, I'm happy oh. for you sounds Is that why empty. you're an undecided voter? Well, I, I halfway filled in both bubbles and I yeah. just, I'm just going to let them to figure it out. Give it up to God, baby. I also like to compliment people. I have another thing going for me. You are very obviously a gay man and what? I am not. And so, what? yeah, I know. Grant. I know. You, it's, what? You, yeah, you there mean you, you can tell? Mm -hmm. There it is. Is it there my it is. Clay Aiken mm -hmm. American Idol tour t-shirt? Mm -hmm. It's your whole vibe. That was my first concert. Was it? American Idol Live season two. Wow. Mine was a Christian concert. It of means course. nothing to anybody. But my Great. first non-Christian concert was Creed, That's not baby. true. People, people listen to this. People oh, listen Newsboys. to this. I saw Newsboys, Newsboys. and OC Supertones in the Pyramid in Memphis. And now Newsboys is making bangers of movies. They are with former DC Talk Michael Tate as the lead. One of the guys left and is like super atheist and is like spilling all the tea about how terrible the Christian music industry is. So yeah, Newsboys didn't last. They had a song called They Don't Serve Breakfast in Hell and we were kids they singing don't. about, true. isn't that funny? Like don't go to hell kids because they don't serve breakfast. It was when all the toast has burned and the milk has turned and Captain Crunch is waving farewell when the big one finds you let the song remind you that they don't serve breakfast in hell horrible news i'm not really a breakfast person so i think i'd be okay yeah me either and i don't like being uh, cold aren't newsboys the ones that are helping make like god's not dead and stuff or is that a different they're in every, group? yeah 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 they're in every okay. single one well, Alexis and I just did a live stream with IMHO's patrons on Halloween, and we watched a movie, and we used Crowdcast, and I was very pleased with it. So Thanks for sponsoring now, Crowdcast. Thank you. No, I wish. They're so expensive. Now that I have it, we should watch one of the God's Not Dead movies on our Patreon, because I have be now down. I have the shit. It yeah, was I'd be down. Really fun. It was. Really, have you really fun. seen any of them? No, but I've watched so many so, reaction yeah. videos that yeah. I feel like I have. But I would love to yeah. experience the full thing. I've seen the first two because I was. You youth saw pastor Kevin Sorbo in one, and then Melissa Joan Melissa, Hart. Melissa, yeah. But the the latest one is it out yet? The Christian nationalist one. I really want to see that one. I don't know. Wasn't it coming out in theaters? I don't know. It looks very funny. I'm I'm down. I'd love to do that. Subscribe to our Patreon. Yeah, so I have an extra level of difficulty because I don't want to make a oh. woman uncomfortable. Like if I if is I want to compliment, is it harder for you to be out in the world? It really is. Oh, listen, man. as a straight white man, listen, oh. as a straight white man, you know we're under attack. We're under yeah. attack right now. We are under attack. You know this says Madam President. Where's where's Mr. President? Where's the where's the Mr. President? I don't think so. I don't see that anywhere. Thank you. Do I look like Mitch McConnell? Yeah, don't move for the rest of the podcast. That's a good uh, For those niche. of you listening, I looked like Mitch McConnell. I can look That's... like Mitch McConnell and I can sound like Kamala Harris. Oh, oh, Want to introduce oh. me to your daddy? I'm the same way. I like to give genuine compliments to people, but I get nervous because I don't want to creep a woman out. I don't want her to think I'm hitting on her. So I'm always Duke very... Do gay well, voice. I've thought, I, not gay voice, but I have thought about like, you know, I, I, hey, you're, you're, I don't like, I don't like you. <laughs> your hair looks nice. Let me smell it. Just say, just say, hey, girly, I love your hair. That's good. So say I, girly. here's, here's what happens when say I it. get in a situation. Say it. No, no. Say it. Join I want to hear it. We, where we have to say it. No, no, no. We have to practice. Say it. Hey, girly. Oh, rave. I don't think I could do it like uh, Hey, girly. Hey, girly. Hey, okay. gir hey now girl. Now you're doing it on purpose. Now you're doing it on I, purpose. I couldn't do it. All right, so anyway, here's my point, is that when I do think it would be great to give them a genuine compliment, I get in my head about it, whatever. But Adderall, Adderall has come into my life. And when I'm on that Addy, let me tell you, 
I'm hyped up. I'm happy. I'm having a great time. I was doing deliveries. I was in the lobby of Art of Animation. There was this, this lady standing behind me. She had this really cool short haircut with bangs and it was just really cool looking and it was it was different colors and I really dug it. So I did the delivery and I turned around and I said, hey, uh, just wanted to tell you, I, I really like your hair. It looks great. As I started to turn to walk away, she was like, oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. And I was like, yeah, have a great day. And I just like walked off. I felt so good. I love giving compliments, but Me I don't want to be a well, creep. That's, that's what speed does to you. I'm so curious. It's too early in your journey, but we're both on Adderall, but different kinds. I'm on the slow release and you're on the immediate and i know the immediate feeling it is meth and it's great i'm I love curious it. love meth. i'm just curious how long term what that looks like for you so i'm excited for this journey i want to i want to know will fall out possibly well just that because you crash really hard after yeah and that's not sustainable yeah. on a daily it's gotten, it's gotten better i will say mm. yes i was crashing hard at first like i mean like i wasn't functioning after i would come like i was like right that's what i'm I thinking don't, like I don't and feel i, that I know you'll anymore. get used to it and all of that but I, i'm just curious for the longevity of taking like a quick release every day i'm just curious i don't know but i'm keeping that high i'm chasing that high brother i mean that's why i'm drinking a giant cup of espresso basically and a bunch of milk i can't have any of that i would shit before i finished swallowing it can i tell you i shit five times yesterday because i had been having a really good digestive month and i was I feeling think, brave. i think we've gone too far on the podcast i think we've gotten too comfortable maybe reel it in let's button okay it let's get back to you jerking off then you're yeah. right i'm sorry so anyway, i took it too so far I was where was your off. seed no listen no. i was jerking off i got too brave and with my coffee i says to myself this is what i says i says drew i says mm -hmm. why don't you have some grapes and then i said well there's more grapes you should probably have a few more i, I shit five times I was so tired. We were supposed to film last night. I'm glad we didn't, but yeah. I FaceTimed Alexis and I said, I have pooped so much that my brain doesn't work. I don't want you over here. I can't do this. But yeah, sorry, shit, what? Great story. Drew, would you like to go to the voicemails? Oh my God, yeah. Can I play you the first oh, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. You guys, uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys uh uh, -uh. uh, -uh. I, that's my favorite is the very end the uh, uh okay I'm that was up. sent on a tuesday at 7 39 p.m i mm -hmm. am obsessed i was in the exact same place at that same time they didn't call wow. back i don't know i hope they're okay well, we heard them we heard them make up their mind at the end. They said, uh-uh. Why uh -uh. would they call back? All right. God, I, I hope you one. had a good night. That was amazing. That was real. That was probably the realest one we've ever had. All right. Well, then now I have uh, a question. One. A fakey. Here we go. Hi. Uh, my name is Matt. Um, I am kind of a young professional and trying to consider some different kind of? career options. Um, so, Grant, I wanted to ask... Um, what are your tips for like a drag queen like just getting started like where should i be looking for gigs how should i be doing my makeup um and then drew like what do you think i should be focusing on if i want to go the pastoral route um so thinking about like mm. books of the bible um should i bedazzle mm. uh, my priest's robes sort of any questions related to that mm -hmm. i would love answered um yeah thank you guys so much drew do you have do you have advice for this person looking, potentially looking at the pastorate? What would you tell well, them? Well, first of all, I just want to say, Matt, you have come to the right place. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I have a lot of experience with this. Uh, first of all, Christ is king. He's super good at it. And I love that for him. He's the best. Um, books of the Bible, you're going to love. There's a bunch of them. So if you're reading one and you're like, I How many? don't like this. How many are there? Huh? How many are there? There are. That's Superior? what I said. There's so How many? many. Could you just give There's me a so number? There's so many. And that's number why we should keep talking about them. Is because when you get you, you get bogged down in the details, mm -hmm. you can't mm -hmm. see the forest for the trees. Okay? And the Bible's yeah. a forest. Okay? 66. And the books are trees. But There's some of them, of them, 
What did you say? 66. It's what I said. Are you oh, agreeing okay. with me? Yeah, that's oh, what I was okay. saying. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm on your side. Um, I'm on your side. But if I you're don't in know. the middle of one, know. you're let's say you're reading, I don't know, Ezekiel, and they're talking about donkey cock. And let's just mm -hmm. say that that's not what you're in the mood for today. Well, guess what, baby? You got Joshua. You even got a second one in there. Okay. There are... Hang on. Right? What? Isn't Joshua... Aren't there two Joshuas? No. You think there's a first Joshua and second Joshua? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me think about it. Yes, that's what I thought. Okay. Oh, no. Let me take that back. Let me take that back. It, of course, I was talking about a two Corinthians. I love Perfect. that one. It's Perfect. a really, really Nailed good it. one. Mm -hmm. Start there for sure, Matt. Mm -hmm. As far as bedazzling your priest robes, I would say no. Um, children's skin are, is very sensitive. A rhinestone could scratch their little face when you're putting them under there. So I would say don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do um, rhinestones. Far... Or don't put them under there. What's your? And yes. Okay. And yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Now the communion wine is only for you as the priest. You are supposed to drink it, piss it out, drink that, piss that out, and that's what you pour on the heads of babies. And if you have any other questions, uh, you can ask me. You can go to Bing. Uh, but I think I think you're gonna I think you're gonna be really good at this. Yeah. He nailed it. That was my experience. Thank you. Hey, girly, love your cross. Hey, Matt, girly, if you're looking to get cross. into drag, there's a couple of things mm. that are really important as you start off. One is, do you have a library card? Because we don't talk about it enough, but the reason to get into drag, I'm assuming the reason you're doing it, is to indoctrinate children and okay. to steal them away from their Republican parents and really from their loving parents. Because the parents who would support steal drag, them obviously. Steal out from don't. under those priests' bedazzled robes. Yeah, That's exactly. And yeah. so yeah. you need a library, you need an updated library card. Also, this is just personal preference. Don't tuck it. If anything, fluff it. Mm -hmm. I'm saying Make like speed bump. That that could be your thing. You could be the speed yeah. bump. You remember that pole vaulter in the Olympics who who failed because he has I'll a big old forget. dick? I'll never forget him. That could be you. You could be the drag version of that. I never want to see You could be Paul one of those Walter. Hard. I like them when huh? they're soft because they're so big. What about makeup, Grant? They were looking specifically for some makeup tips. All of it. Put all of it on. That's fantastic. Yeah. Like uh, like every, like all of it everywhere. And I don't know. Do you have any tips for starter, like wig wig designers? Sure. How they can get started with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're going to want a lot more here than mm -hmm. here anywhere else. You want, you want a lot right here. On the top. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes long sometimes not long sometimes yeah. bright color bright color bright sometimes mm. subtle soft not Something. bright not mm -hmm. bright where do you get the hair it depends it depends time of year it depends like what your local laws are um, sure, graveyards sure typically morgues it's where you get the hair or you're just naming places that you like i'm just naming places i hang out and sure, read sure, about sure, where sure. to get hair right you can get you them off of card. uh slow moving children you can just cut their hair yeah uh, their hair so soft from you. their hair is it so is soft because it's it filled with it's innocence. great for bangs it's great for yeah. bangs yeah that's the other thing Every, all wigs should have bangs nope you lost me there grant you had such good tips mm. up until that point so thank you Damn. so much matt we hope that this helps you become the drag queen priest that you've always get that library were. card bro get it thanks for calling and matt lean into the joshua lean into the joshua really really all. spend time in second joshua if you can if oh you find God. second Joshua, mm. holy shit. We are second we're gonna Joshua, be rich. Chapter three, verse oh. twelve. Goes hard. Which says Don't of even Oh my I was about to say don't get me started, but you did. You yeah, did. Go ahead. Go ahead. God, okay. Hang on. I just gotta put myself back in that place when I first uh -huh. heard it. I'll say it with you, but you you started, but I'll say it with you. Oh I sure, know sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. If the Lord, Lord thy, thy God, God doth, doth bless, bless your, your uterus, uterus with babies, babies that, that look, look like they, they shall, shall be called, called twins. twins one, one of them shall be gay and the, and the other, other loses their entire, entire purpose, purpose in life around 40 and donkey come, and donkey come. Oh, that's one of my favorite verses uh i think it really speaks to wait a second fuck okay do you, bye. Do you think we helped anybody today i don't think so no yeah i don't think we ever do 
join our Patreon. Seriously though, thank you guys so much for the, uh, coming out to the live stream. That was a lot of fun for me at least. That was least. so fun. It's great to interact with I had with a great time. Uh, also, thanks to all the Patreons. It's patrons. up on Patreon, by the way. It is, yeah, yeah. The live, the live one's up there. And all you patrons interacting on the app, I love chatting with you. There's a new Grant's Bible Corner out as well. Came out yesterday. It's so good, Grant. Came out yesterday. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, man. You, I said it. I know. That was genuine. I, I didn't know. even realize I'm gonna it. I'm going to edit wow. it out so you still look like an asshole. That's okay. Listen, I've been called worse. We love you all. And By you. the election's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. I don't know. But you know what? Ultimately, we are cis white men in America. It's going to work out for us. So we'll be yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll be okay. We'll be fine. Sorry about all you. Don't worry about Sorry us. Sorry about everybody else. Don't worry about yeah, us. I'll be fine. Don't worry about us. All right. Bye. bye.